Hey, Ray, it's Chris with the Haunted House Bus. If you want, you can give me a call back. It's no big deal. I didn't even see what you did there, but 479. Thanks. All right, so that's Arkansas. And I got an email about this one from a guy named Big Time Glitch. It says, hey, hey, Brad, I'm reporting from the backwater hills of Arkansas. I just spent the evening going around town spreading carding notes under the light of the blood moon. And he left one on this creepy clown bus that's been parked by a warehouse all year. But it's recently been driving around, probably because of Halloween. And it's a bus with a giant clown face on the front of it. Hello? Hey, Chris, it's Roy. I uh, left a note on your car. Oh, yeah. That bus? Yeah. So where did you bump into that at? Oh, well, it wasn't me, exactly. It. It's like, when when I woke up this morning, I, I threw an apple in my garbage disposal. Yeah. And uh, it caused the garbage disposal to just kind of seize up, and I couldn't get it going again. It kept tripping the breaker, and uh, I had to remove it from under the sink. Yeah. And it, it turned out to be unfixable, so I, I chucked it in the trash can. And that caused the trash can to tip over, and it started rolling down my front yard and into the street. I live nearby, yeah. by, by the way. And it, it just kept rolling, and it, it knocked over a bicyclist. Yeah. But then the, the bike, it kept going. Uh, you know, the bike, the, it knocked the bicyclist off of the bike, and the bike just kind of kept going for about a half a block. And it went into an intersection, and these two cars swerved and rammed into each other. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that happen. It was just uh, around the corner, kind of. No, I guess I didn't see it happen. Oh, okay. Where, yeah. do, you, where do you live at? I'm just uh, about two blocks up from... I, I see that bus around there a lot lately. Right. But, like, one of the cars sideswiped the other, and it, like, shaved the mirror, his side mirror off of his car. And it kind of launched the mirror up yeah. into the air, and and smacked and smacked right into. And this a, happened in, front of, in what? the front of the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, um, really? Yeah, it's it, the the mirror flew up into the air and it, it smacked into a quadcopter drone that a, a hobbyist was flying nearby. <laughs> you got to be teasing me. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm I feel I, it's because it's not exactly my fault. Is the thing. But I mean, I can I still. I feel like it is my fault, even though, because you know, I, I launched. I I'm sorry, what? So where did it hit the bus at? Oh well, the the quadcopter. The guy lost control of his quadcopter drone, and it, it flew into a tree, and kind of shredded some branches as it went in. And a branch actually fell down, and landed next to a shopping cart. <laughs> and you've got to be kidding me! No, What's the shopping on? cart. Are you pulling the joke on me? <laughs> No, I wouldn't joke about this. Um, the shopping cart started rolling uh, okay. kind of through the lot, and it, it smacked right into the bus. I saw that part happen. Uh, it, hit the bu- it hit the bus where? Right where it's sitting at now? Yeah, yeah, right there. Because there's no shopping carts around there. Uh, no, I think like maybe a hobo brought it brought it around. You know, just it, it was just sitting, oh, it was there by the tree. Yeah. Who is this? Do you know me or? <laughs> no, no. I, I just I left the note because I felt bad about what happened, and and if there's like if there's any damage, if I need to buy some touch up paint, I can do that. Well, I didn't see anything on it at all, and this still still sounds really crazy. You know, you got to admit, you know, it, it sounds kind of weird. Yeah, but, uh, I, I I I haven't even gotten around to going to Home Depot yet to buy a new garbage disposal. I see. And where, what's your what's your address? Where do you live at, right there? Oh, that's weird. Why do you want to know that? Well, it's not weird. It just it seems like I'm getting a joke pulled on me or something. You no, know? I don't joke. I'm a Christian. <laughs> okay, but you got to admit it. Sound, and I didn't even know there was any houses close to close to the store. There are other than up on top of that hill behind the store. Yeah, well, it is kind of up on the hill. That's why the the bike. The bike kept going after the bicyclist fell off, and my garbage can rolled down the street for a little bit. Yeah. Yep. A little ways up. Well, there. I could. Just... I, I could not see the anything wrong with it. Okay. So, well, that's good. I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear cool. that. It was hard to tell, you know, at the time because I was just so flustered with everything that, that had happened. Yeah. So the bike guy is he all right? 
Oh, I, I, I lost track of him. I hope so. Because I was running, I was running after uh, all the stuff that was happening as it happened. And I, I just kind of lost track of the bike. I, I guess he's okay. I didn't see anything in the paper about it. Well, don't worry, it, don't worry about it at all. It, I didn't see anything wrong with it. It's already got scratches and stuff on it anyway. Okay. So. Well, yeah. If, if there's if there's anything I can do, if in, if I need to buy touch up paint or whatever, just you have my number. Sure. All right. You have a good day, sir. Okay. Thanks thank for calling you. Calling me back. Uh huh. Praise Satan. Bye. Praise the Dark Lord. Bye. Bye. You're listening to the Snowplow Show here at Brink Commission. We've got a blood of customers causing massive aggravation. Ryan is not a hobo. He is your host. He drinks for loco with his jelly and toast. Let's go stand up. Let the epics begin. P.L.A. for the win. Hi, peoples. You're listening to the Snowplow Show for September 29th, 2017. This is episode 401, but you guys won't get excited about this episode because there's not two zeros on it, you bunch of weirdos and your numbers. Today, Philip B. is our sponsor. He's one of the many people supporting the show over on patreon.com slash phone losers. Thank you, Philip B. Today, I did a live show, which happened right before the XYZ show. I had a bunch of errands to run this morning, and I almost didn't even get a live show done, and I got home at like 11.45, and I'm just like, fuck it, I'll just do 45 minutes. I won't even announce it on the Twitter, I'm just gonna go on Mixler, do a really quick show, and this show starts out with audio issues, it's gonna be great, fun to listen to, me figuring out my audio issues. I'll probably just cut that out of the show. So I don't really have any announcements or anything today, so I guess we'll just get started with the whole show thing. Here it is, here is the live show from today. Holy crap, shortest intro ever. Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a few calls. Uh, I only have like 45 or 30 minutes, you know, so... Uh, just a few, I don't know, I don't even have a plan today. I'm just going on the air and I'm going to see what happens. I'm probably going to check the cardings though. So stay tuned for the cardings. Hmm. This is weird. My phone calls aren't coming through and I don't know why. Why, you guys? Why? Like, I hear the hang-up. I called Pacific Bell. I mean, I called Sly Dial earlier. It connects. It's counting. Shit, you guys. I just wanted to do a quick 30 minutes here, and now my phone's not working. This is bullshit. Okay, I'm going to call my cell phone. See what happens. Hello? Testing. Yeah, I can't hear me. Shit. I've been having these weird audio issues lately. I'm going to unplug my USB thing, plug it back in. Maybe I should have rebooted my computer before I did this. Switch my inputs. I had my my USB card go out in mid-prank call, and that really sucks when that happens. You just Thank you for slide dialing. Completely lose it. Ever wish you could send one voice recording right. to multiple... Slide dial works. Let's try Pacific Bell. See, that one is just... it's It's connecting, but it's silent where are they why can't i hear them shit you guys there might not be a show i'm glad i didn't put this on twitter shit 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 (laughs) ah maybe i'll just play old cardings you guys love that on the show maybe i need to reboot my asterisk that's what i'm gonna do oh wait is my asterisk even on i've been moving things around yesterday hold on i'll I'll be right back connecting connecting I don't even have a uh, monitor hooked up anymore to my Asterix machine, it's just a box. So I can't even reboot it. I don't have a keyboard hooked up to it or a mouse. It's just a box. I really should do something about that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. I'm gonna try and use call centric. Maybe that'll work. Let's call my cell phone. Hello? 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 Okay, that seems to be working. (laughs) That was me talking to my cell phone. But, shit, I don't want to use this line. 
Okay, so I spent all that time, like, fucking with my phones, and I, I, I don't even have the list of numbers up yet. So, hold on, I'm getting a list of numbers. One more song. We'll have a good 30 minutes. I'm working on it. There's not a whole lot of brand new cardings, which is kind of a bummer. Hey, Roy, Why'd this you is Thomas Miller. Uh, Double dare. You left a note on my uh, car saying that you, you uh, had dinged it. Uh, I'm just calling to try to figure out where, where you dinged it at. I don't really see anything. Uh, just give me a call back whenever you get this. Uh, thank you. All right, bye. <sighs> okay, all right. So uh, I'm going to... Basically, I'm just starting from the bottom of the list uh, of carding things. I'm just going to call, but like the problem is the whole phone problem. I didn't get the phone working. I'm using my backup of call centric um, and call centric doesn't uh, let me spoof. It shows the call in request line thing, the 845 number in New York. And everyone knows everyone in New York is a, uh, a scam call or a farce call or a telemarketer or something. The number you have dialed is invalid or. Uh, oh yeah. And I have to dial one before the number. I always forget that. Let's try it again. Liz wants me to just go door to door. Do my car dings door to door. That's a good idea. I should just start going up to people's doors. All right, ding your car. It was my kid's birthday, and you know, I had to deflate your tires to fill up the party balloons. I bet you that would go great. Yeah, Roy, I got a message on my car that you dinged it. I don't know what the hell. The number you have dialed is. Ah. Dial Give me one. A call back. 724. Come on, man. You can do better than that. just leaving a note. I'll get a recipe. Hey there, um, this is Roy. I left a note on your car about dinging it. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was a long time ago. It was like, you know, two or three weeks ago. I've been trying to call. <laughs> what you doing? Every time you call, it comes up a different number, though. Each time I call? Yeah, this time come up from tu- Tuxedo Park, New York. Last time you were out in California. Well, how'd you know it was me before in California? Huh? H- how do you know it was me calling before, if you never pick up? Well, no, I've picked up. And then you've said the same thing under a different number. Oh, did I? Have I already talked no. to you? You must have called multiple times. I get so confused. There's so many people to call. <laughs> what, can you tell me what I said last time? Was it funny? No, nah, you're a pretty funny guy. I don't know who this is, nor do I care, but it's some kind of prank. Well, no, it's not a prank. I, I, it was my kid's birthday. <laughs> and I had, oh, really? Yeah, I had to let all the air out of your tires. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what was? What did I say last time? I can't remember. I was probably drunk last time. <laughs> oh, my. This is funny stuff here, pal. This is funny stuff. Okay, fine. Go, what, man. Whatever. You win. I'm hanging up on you. Don't, don't ever call my number again. <laughs> don't ever call me again. I'll call the police. <laughs> I don't ever call you. Well, you better cut it out. You have, too. I have a voicemail from you. It says, call me back. And... <laughs> okay. Um... Funny guy. Dude, you, you, you joined the circus or something, man. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> you got some kind of like comedy show going on? Stand up? You what? do stand up in the evenings? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? You cannot place two calls at the same time. Ah, really? To place another call. Okay, I was going to put you on the, on the phone with another carding, but uh, my phone system won't let me, so bye. All right, I hung up on that guy. I was going to put us both on. It's going to be awesome. I don't remember. No, I don't think he Googled, Googled the number. Mr. Hilton. I think he was just a, a ding person that... I, I don't know what I said to him before. I wish he would have told me. Hey, Roy, this is Mike. I found a note on my car from you. Just Trying to sound like a grown-up here. Give see what this was about. This is kind of a strange note. Um, yeah, I hope to hear from you soon. Bye. So that guy we just talked to, that might be the only person we get through to today. Because I'm starting at the bottom, working my way up to the most recent ones. So right now we're calling something from September 8th. And Hello? Oh, hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. I've been trying to call you for like three weeks now. I don't think so. Oh, yes, I did. 
You didn't leave an, a message for me that about the note? No, I don't know, Roy. I know, we don't know each other. I, I accidentally dinged your car, and then I left a note on the window. And you called um, me? What kind of car? Well, are you Mike? Yeah, I am. Okay, well, you left a note. Were you just high when you left it? You don't remember? No, I didn't ding your car, dude. No, no, I dinged your I car. I didn't even know. I dinged, no, you left oh. a, You called me. You you left a note, and, and I called you. I left a message. I just need your insurance info. I am at a loss, dude. You don't remember? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't remember the note on your car? I don't remember a note on my car, no. It's only been, I am Mike. It's only been three weeks. I mean, you left this message. Are you just drunk all the time? I don't drink, dude. Oh, don't so, get smart on me, dude. I don't know who you are. So you just smoke the weed. I, I, I get it. I don't smoke weed. I'm not high. <laughs> I wasn't high when you dinged my car. I don't know why I would leave a note on your car if you dinged my car. No, no, make sense, dude. no, no, you're, you're misunderstanding me probably because you're on crack. Uh, I, I accidentally dinged your car and I left a note on it. You're, you're not trying to scam. Where are you calling from? Is, is this one of those scam calls? That's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm trying to find out, dude. Oh, no, I asked you first. Is this a scam call? Is this a farce? That's what I'm asking, dude. I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember my car getting dinged by anybody, bro. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. My car is fine. Okay. What kind of car was it? Okay, Chief. Uh, I don't remember. I don't really know cars that well. Um. All right. Well, you're kind of insulting, bro. Okay. Well, you know that, right? Do you? Where do you live, anyway? I'm not trying where, to. Are you? Where, what state are you in? I'm not trying to insult you. I, I just. I'm just saying you do. Okay. Crack. Well, then I apologize. Then, but what state are you in? Um. Well, I. Where are you my, from? My, what state are you in? My phone number is in California. Okay. Yeah, but I'm actually in Minnesota. I am too. Oh, yay! Ding, ding, ding. We're like twinsies. You get the bell. Yeah, it's pretty weird that you don't remember uh, calling me after I left a note on your car. I mean, it was just three weeks ago. and You know, lay off the crack. Lay off the heroin, whatever you're doing. None of the above, bro. Meth. Sorry, but meth poppies. No, I don't remember. Do you remember what kind of car it was? Uh, no, no. It's been you know, it's been like three weeks. It, it's it's so weird that you you can't remember this whole thing though. You must be no, hot. But you left a note on my car. You must be high all the time. Yeah, I left a note, and then you called dude, me. I'm not. Why are? What is your deal, dude? I, it's it's not First me. Of all, I don't drink. I don't do drugs, so I'm not high all the time. I'm not on crack, I'm not stoned, I'm not fucking drunk, and I'm not a fucking retard, so quit insulting my intelligence, hey, okay? Hey, stop insulting... You don't remember what car you gave, but you left a note on it and say I called you. You need to stop insulting re- retarded... people. Stop, in- stop insulting retarded people. That That's fucking happen. not cool. So you're Would just... Would you like to give me your insurance, and I'll turn it into your insurance, then? No, Is that no. what you're trying to do? Oh, no, yeah, of course. Yeah, I want to give you my insurance information, but I guess I don't have to because you don't remember I just basically got away scot free. You know, man. I guess you did, bro. I, I don't know what you're talking about, really, though. I bet you throw your this go was three I, weeks ago. I bet I'm you- with my wife right now, and, I, and we're pretty much together all the time, no matter where I go. Was my car parked? So wait, she doesn't remember either. No, she don't remember either. Oh my god, is that? Do you get your drugs from her? Is, is she high all the time, and you're just high part of the time? What is? What are you talking about, dude? They just you know, you know drugs they they mess with your head they make you forgetful. You think? They, yeah, I, I say they do, dude. I assume so. I mean, I've never but tried I mean, that, drugs. This is about you giving me your insurance information so I can turn it in to get the ding fixed on my car. Then there's no reason for us to be talking about that at all. Wait, so there I mean, were you drunk when you hit my car? Were you high when you dinged my car? Yeah, I was, but that has nothing to do with it. You were. <laughs> well, I bet you throw all of your go cups out the window. Oh my what? All of them. All of your go cups. I bet you throw them out the window after you drink. My go cups. Yep, you heard me. I'm oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get going since you don't even remember. I'm I'm just basically, I, I my insurance rates aren't gonna go up. So thank you for forgetting. Thank you for being a drug addict. Hey, you're full of shit, dude. Uh, and, and fuck you are. Oh, and then you don't remember, so I guess I'm not giving my insurance information. My rates won't go up. 
Also, thank your wife for me for for being in. in Roy, how about this then? If you don't give me insurance information, since I have your phone number, how about I just turn you into the police then? And then it'll just be considered hit and run. Oh, I'll. I'll t- then you can go to court and just have your license suspended for that. How's that sound? Well, I'll tell them that you do drugs and that your wife's an enabler. Well, you can do that because guess what? I take kiss tests, dude. I don't have to, but I do for my job. You, you probably. So I pass my UA. Yeah, you probably. So how's that sound? You probably use so those. Maybe we could check your piss after I turn you into the police. You probably use those anti piss piss tests that you buy on the internet, so they can't catch you. You're one of no, those. No, no, no. I go to a people. facility, dude. Yeah, I, I get my test done at a facility. You, you bring all your illegal anti drug stuff into the facility, so they can't catch you. I know. I know how people like you work. You don't know me. You don't know people like me, dude. I'm one of a kind. I trust. Yeah, but I can tell like how high. How about how- we meet and have lunch and a beer or something or a drink? And we meet and talk. No, I'm not going to do that. that you, you sound very hostile. Because this is kind of ridiculous. We're both insulting each other, dude. I, I don't like being like that. I don't like being that kind of person. Did you insult because me? Because I feel like I'm disrespecting you, and I don't want to do that. I couldn't tell Maybe that I you... Maybe ins- buy you lunch, dude, and we can sit and talk about this and figure this out. Okay, I'm just saying I, I didn't notice that you insulted me. I guess probably because your insult wasn't very good. I, I, didn't, I don't recall you insulting me. What would you say? Was it a good one? Excuse me, I couldn't hear you. What now? Nothing. I, I'm going to hang up since you don't remember. I don't want to have lunch with you because you don't. I'm just not into the drug life. You know, I, I don't want to well, hang, hang out with other. How about I turn you in then, dude? Since you called me, I got your phone number. I can turn you into the police. You're going to turn. That you're going to turn me in for calling you and, and not being nice. Or, are they gonna... hey, I was the last one to apologize for for talking to you. However, we're talking to each other. You're the only one no, to I apologize. Can call, I can call the police and say that you called me to give me your information because you hit my car. Yeah, and then you decided you weren't gonna just out of nowhere decided he wasn't gonna do it. Maybe they'll charge. So here's his information. His name is Roy. He hit and ran my car. Maybe they'll charge you with they'll charge me with like two counts of not being nice in the first degree. Well, how do you know? Maybe I saw you do it. Oh, okay. Well, it's I, I'm recording this call, so I'll just I'll show him this recording and, and for what? That's uh, what I'm saying, dude. What is this really about? Um, well, what do you call me for, uh, dude? Let's just quit bullshitting around. You're an adult. I'm a doll. What you call me for, dude? What do you want? I do a, a prank call radio show on the internet, and you're on the air right now, and we just thought it'd be funny to call up people and tell them we dinged their car, even though I didn't even leave a note. You fucker. What? You fucker. Oh, my God. No, it's a prank fucking thing. So, hey, is it an internet show or something? Or? Uh, oh, no, we're on the FM radio. By the way, could you tell your wife to shut the fuck up? Because you're on the phone. <laughs> tell, tell her. <laughs> we're on the radio. Yeah, turn it on 97.4. Quick. Quick. I'll meet you there. Bye. Okay, I was bored with that. Okay, well, he finally picked up. Uh, September 8th is when he left that message. And I have been, I've called him at least six times now. Um, you know, I've, I keep going through this list over and over. Trying to get everyone to pick up. So, Delete. That one's finished. I wasn't expecting to get through to anyone today. This is awesome. Next one is this person. Hi, Roy. My name is Melanie. I'm calling on behalf of my mom, Karen. She had a a note on her car last night from you um, saying that you dinged her car. So I just wanted to speak with you about the number you had. So if you could call us back on this number, it's bye. Thank you, Roy. Damn it. Bye. Maybe I should call as Roy's insurance company. I regret jumping. You have reached yeah. the voicemail box. Well, balls. Okay. I really should just delete these at this point, but nah, I don't know. Maybe Carlito or, or Dwight will want to go back and try these again. You know, three months later. <laughs> that could be yeah, fun. Yeah, my name is Joe, and uh, I found this message on my truck this morning. It says, sorry, I dinged your car. I feel like I've talked to this guy, but I'm not totally sure. Ah, crap. I keep... The number you... Ow, that hurt. Sorry, everyone. Keep forgetting to dial one. So I may have already talked to this guy. I don't remember. Hello. No one is available to take your call. I have noticed that. I've noticed that. Yes, Billy. If you don't call a man's truck his car, that'll piss him off. Hello, Roy. Can you call me, please? Um... I would like to look to you again. All right. Hello? Hi, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. 
Remember? Yes, how are you doing? Oh, not too bad. Have we have did I call you yet? I can't remember because I drink a lot. No, you do. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry it's taken me so long. I I've, I've been I, I think I tried, but I call from a different number every time. Hello? Hi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm Roy. Yeah. Ma'am? Yes, can I hear yeah. Are you talking to me or someone there? Hello? No, I'm, I'm trying, uh, yes. Hello? Excuse me. What? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, I hear you just fine. Well, I mean, not really, because you're, like, muttering in the other direction. And So what's up? Hello? Huh. Let me try her right back. She hung up on me. Maybe we had a bad connection. It just it seemed like she's talking to everyone else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Crazy Calvin wants me to say I opened their hood and ripped some of the paper off of their air filter so I could roll my own cigarette. That may be the next thing I do. Your call has been forwarded to okay, an audio. Well, fuck that lady anyway. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, this is Kevin Ryan Colin about um, a note left on my truck about oh his car, uh, my car got hit. Thing. Um, if you just give me a call back, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, I need to open up my idea page. Oh wait, I already have it open. I need to paste in some chat. You room have stuff. reached the voicemail box of. Let me put. Crazy Calvin's in there first. Cause that's a good one. Uh, Tim wants me to say that I removed a, a dent from their car and, and, and I put it on my car. Tee And then, what was the other one? I'm going to waste all my time just grabbing these ideas. Oh yeah, the cigarette paper air filter thingy. Yeah, got to do that. Good one. Probably not going to reach any more people today, though. Um, we've got 10 minutes left. Maybe I should just move to the top of the list and call some of these more recent people. Um, we've got an Emma in... Well, I'm not going to say... Hi, this is uh, Emma. I'm the owner of the Silver Honda um, Insight. Um, la I was just giving you a call to um, subscriber you have talk to you about the little thing in my door. Right. She's not picking up. Oh, look, one minute ago from an unknown number. Hey, Roy, it's Marco. Um, they didn't leave a number either. Damn listeners. You know that, that, that guy that was really pissed off about the drug thing? They're probably tuning all over the radio right now, just trying to find themselves. Hi, Roy, my name's Dave. I got your note this morning uh, that you dinged my car. So, uh, 913, um, what is that, like Lawrence, Kansas, or... I don't know, Kansas City? Somewhere in Kansas, people are leaving notes. I'm getting a lot of 913s calling in. I gotta stop saying I'm with the Skippy and Dippy show. That just makes them Google me and then they find me. You know, I stole Skippy and Dippy. Hold on, let me... I'm gonna Google that. Skippy you and have Dippy. reached the voicemail box of 9... Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's this old radi radio DJ... Uh, MJ, you guys remember him sort of, right? I fucked with him a lot. He called the FBI on me and had, like, he was looking into me. But uh, his thing was saying he was with the Skippy and Dippy show, and I totally stole that from him. And now when you Google Skippy, Skippy and Dippy, it's nothing but phone losers, and that has to piss him off. I mean, if he Googles Skippy and Dippy, I guess he probably doesn't. But if he does, it's going to piss him off. It'd be hilarious. Okay, here's a guy that just um, called in and hung up. Didn't say anything. I just heard a little bit of background noise for four seconds. Then he hung up. That was very rude. He lives in Houston. We've gotten several calls from Houston. So what sucks about my phone issues today, which I have no idea what's going on. Maybe uh, Flow Route is having problems. But I don't know. Like I, I can't change my caller ID. It's got to be this New York number. One of two New York numbers that I have. There's another hang-up. I'm going to call them back. 
But I'm calling from a New York number, so these people probably aren't picking up. Because they're like, New York City! It must be a farce call. <sighs> it's Frank. I haven't been watching the chat room, but people are suggesting alternatives to Skippy and Dippy. We have Glue Sniffer and the Buzz by I Regret Jumping. We've got uh, uh, Socko and Punchy Drive Time. That's what I needed to start doing, doing drive times. Butt Man and the Gerbil. That's a good one. By, uh, by Zax uh, of the Party Time Show. Zax the TV bootlegger. He does a show with Laugh Track Matt. Uh, butt Man and the Hose. You've been butt slammed or butt manned. Okay, I'm going to stop reading these. I only have uh, five minutes left until this show is over forever. Hey, Roy, I just got a note on my car seeing that you dinged it. So please give me a call back. Thanks. That totally sounds like a listener. I'm going to call him back anyway. Be like, this is Buttman and the Gerbil. <laughs> the Steve Dave Afternoon Drive. That's, that's H-Town Cactus's idea. RB in the Sunshine. Hey, I'm calling because I left a note on your car. This is Roy. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, is this Roy? Yeah, yeah, I left a note, I think, maybe yesterday or the day before about the ding. Yeah, um, what was the damage? I didn't see anything. I, I, um, I opened the hood and, um, you know your air filter? Yeah. I just needed some ro- rolling papers for my for my uh, marijuana. So I, I took a little bit of... I, I ripped off just a little bit of uh, a paper off of the air filter and used that to roll my cigarette. But your your filter's really dirty and it needs to be replaced anyway, so it's fine. The hell? You opened my hood somehow and you, like, used it to roll, roll your marijuana? Yeah, but it's cool. It's it's legal here. I, I'm a medical patient. But, you know, I didn't have papers, but I had the marijuana and the lighter, so I just opened up your hood. You know, you can just reach in through the grill and open them up that way. And, yep, I just it's just it's not going to affect your car's performance at all. It's just one little strip of the paper off of the filter. I only took maybe a fourth of it total. And it worked, you know. I, it's a trick I learned from my dad. I think you're full of shit, Roy. Why would you say that? I think you're full of shit. I think you're a listener. Is that just... You think I'm a listener? No, forget what I said that. What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. I, that just came out. I have Tourette's. That's all. All right. Well, anyways... Let's forget that. Forget I said it. Thanks for bullshitting me, Roy. I'm not... And I don't bu- think anything did happen to my car. I'm not bullshit. So. Open up your car right now and look at the air filter. Real quick. Fuck off. G- get your Phillips Fuck screwdriver off. out. Why? Why are, why are you saying that? I gotta go. Where are you going? What are you doing? Bye. What are you doing? Boy. Where are you going? What time will you be back? Tell me. <laughs> I command you. Are you talking while driving? All right, fine. I'm hanging up. No. Oh, man. He was answering. Well, he should have answered faster, I guess. Uh, It says on the XYZ Mixler page that there's no show this week because XYZ is under investigation for using a private mail server during his time in the White House. But I don't know if that's true because it's someone else posting it. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, another call or two. Maybe I'll call some of these Chicago people that are really pissed off. Just so you know, Roy, I just want to let you know that what comes around goes around. Yep. So, however you treat people... So she's a Carson Daly fan, too. People will treat you the same way. Right, I'm calling her. I just have to throw that in there because I'm looking at the letter again. And so every, everyone, every call I've gotten from Chicago is pissed off. And there, someone's writing terrible things on notes... And they're using my real name, I think. I think they're just trying to start shit with the show. So, damn you. Damn it. Hello? Oh, hello? Uh, I'm, this is Roy. I left a note on, on your car. I think you called me back. 
Yes. And I'm returning your call. How are you doing today? Mm-hmm. I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. Good to hear. Good. Now, you sound like a very professional man. Um, I just don't understand why you would leave a, a message so nasty. Was it nasty? I don't remember because I wasn't exactly sober when I left it. What did it mm-hmm. say? It said nothing but bad words. I mean, you called me a B-I-T-C-H. You called me a F and this, F oh. and that. It, but you know what? I don't, I don't know you or anything. It's just a note I left on a car, so it's not like a personal attack. I was just, but I'm an angry I drunk. I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. But you know what? And honestly, this is honest truth. Mm-hmm. If I was there and if I was a man, I probably would have harmed you or something like that. Harmed something me? Something for you to think of. Yeah, because that's a very nasty note you left. Wow, I I never I never think to myself. You know what? If I was so and so, I would harm that person. That's a weird thought to have. Well, this is a very um, mean world, as you can see. Oh. I mean, living in Chicago is not a nice. Why don't you I mean, move? There's a lot of killings, a lot of hurting people, and things like that. Yeah, I mean, why don't you just move then? That's instead of for you to think about, instead of complaining about, it, just move. Well, I'm not complaining because I, I love Chicago, but I'm just telling you in general. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm sorry about the ding. Um, did you notice the the thing I did? Yes, I did. Like with the tires? I mean, the hubcap? Yes, I did. What part did you notice? I noticed a couple of scratches. I mean, I just purchased my car. Like right around the hubcap where the valve stem is, where the little screwy thing to take the air out? <clears throat> no, I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, that's what I did. I, it was um, I was taking the air out of the tires because I needed some. That's all. Well, I, what? I, I don't think you're a very a smart person. I mean, I don't know... But I'm professional. Why would you even think about um, taking air out of some tire and then leaving a note like that? You know, well, you're just well, I was, very ignorant person. Like I said, I was drunk, so it's not me that's ignorant. It's drunk. It's the alcohol. Well, and, maybe you should think about not drinking next time oh, if you can't handle it. Easier said than done. But listen, um, mm-hmm. like I, I put the air back in your tires. I just I removed. I needed the air from your tires, and then I brought a pump with me, and I pumped it back up. So I didn't actually steal your air. I just, I, I took all the air out of all four tires and I aired them back up. That's all. You have a, a an, an issue. I mean, I don't even know why you would even leave a message like that and even call me back and say something like that. Like what? You know? I'm, I'm explaining what happened. But as, as I was hooking up the pump to the, the maybe, front... Maybe, maybe what you should do is um, maybe what's going to happen is I'm going to give this um, this number to my husband <gasps> and he tried calling you back and you deal with it with him. Okay, how about that? Okay, yeah. If your husband wants to okay. call, I can deal with Have him. Have Since he's, he's not a woman, he'll think more clearly. Oh. <laughs> uh, where's XYZ? I don't see XYZ on the air. It's 1233. What the hell, XYZ? Where are you? Oh, yeah. It's buffering. I see. Let's see if he is on. Because it's time for me to end. I'm really scared about this husband calling me, you guys. I I don't know what's going to come of that. Oh, um, before we get started with XYZ, I should go ahead. Ah! Yep, there's XYZ. He's he's got his music going. He's getting ready to go on the air. Everyone should go over to Mixler.com slash XYZ QWA. I'm going to play... That lady left me two messages. I'm going to play them both. Um... And then we're going to get going. All right, here is the first message left on Wednesday. Hi, this message is for a person by the name of Roy. Roy, you left a message on my car, uh, actually a letter at my, on my car saying you dent my car. You know... And see, someone in Chicago is just trying to fuck with me. They're putting a bunch of cor- curse words on the notes. I think they're protesting that I'm not doing Ding Timber the way I usually do. I 
don't that's understand what's happening. what your problem is. You know, you should be a little nicer. I don't know why you would write someone fucking Chicago like this. This is ridiculous. Um, if you are willing to pay for it, you know that's fine. You could return my call. But please, if you return my call, there's no need to be using that type of language. <laughs> we're both adults. I'm getting scolded. And, you know, we're, we should be more mature in our speaking and the way we speak to each other. You know, so my number is 773. Yeah. And my name is Maria. You can give me a call back. And you have a blessed day. Yay, Hi. I'm going to have a blessed day. Oh my god, there's a picture of her car. She seems to be very religious. Um, but it looks like she just bought a car or something, and she's got a big ribbon on it and stuff, and, and the the post says, God is good. And I agree, God is very good, isn't he? Let's, let's take a moment and pray here real quick. Well, wait, no, another voicemail. Just so you know, Roy... I just wanted to let you know that what comes around goes around. Yep. So Carson, Carson Daly. However you treat people. I'm just trying to be a better person. treat you the same way. Yep. I, I watched the show. throw that in there. It was a good one. Because gotta I'm love, looking gotta at love the letter Randy. again and it's not a nice letter. But if you were willing to leave a letter. Can you imagine how much she's been praying for me this week? Your name and your number. I'm expecting for you to call me back so that we can take care of this. Okay. All right. Oops. Thank you. Okay. And have a nice day. And I think that's all she left. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I guess we will expect a call back from her husband. Um, that's the end of my show, everyone. If you want to go listen to a show, uh, listen to the one I'm posting in the chat room right now. It's XYZ. I'm going to try and give him a few carding numbers for him to do today. So if you want to hear some cardings, Come over to Mixler.com slash XYZQWA. We're going to listen to so many. We're going to do so many cardings. MC. Here, let's let's play some, some going away music. Got to do that, right? Hey, everyone. Pre-recorded Brad here again. The live show part is over. And I've spent the last two hours or so listening to the XYZ show, which was on immediately after my show. And I gave him a bunch of carding numbers, and he had a lot of fun with them. There was a couple of callers that called in, or that left messages, you know, to trick me into calling them. But I totally pranked them back by having XYZ call them, so they could just be disappointed. And they're like, uh, I just got XYZ instead of Brad. That really sucks. It was a good show, though. He got through to quite a few uh, real carding people, and he did some other stuff that was pretty good. It was a good show, so go listen to it. I think he's on xyzshow.xyz on your web browser machine. I'll have links in the show notes, but it's the September 29th show, 2017, on xyzshow.xyz. Good times. Hey, Brad, it's Katie Baker calling into your voicemail Whoa. for a second time. Your tri-yearly call. I was hoping um, that you could put put up the, the call from the guy that he was the attorney from Watergate, and, and you told uh, him all the documents were going to get ruined by, by your water yeah. reservoir. It's from the April 10th, 2015 episode titled Watergate Reservoir. Uh, I was hoping you could put it in, in its own video thing, because I love that one. Yeah. The guy was flabbergasted. Jesus well, Christ. Well, see you later. Lay off the drugs, Katie. Uh, yeah, I love that call, that Watergate call. It's amazing. And I really want to put it up on YouTube, but I'm kind of wondering if that's maybe not the greatest idea. Because eventually he'll find himself on there and he's just going to be pissed at me. And I'm going to have some Watergate lawyer like suing me for causing him all that emotional distress and stuff. So I don't know. I think that might just be a secret treat for people who listen to the April 10th, 2015 episode. Wink, wink. Everyone go do that right now. I should make that one of the redial shows. Hey, Brad. Uh, so I went on the Phone Losers Wiki, and unfortunately, I could not find a list of all your background music. Ah, shit. So you have to put that on your list of things to do. Quick. All right. Practice, practice. Somebody on the wiki, make a page of all the background music on the show. You can get a list of most of it. I mean, you can get the background music itself by just downloading the 2015 PLA Torrent, which is located at phonelosers.com slash torrents. That's where you can get years and years worth of phone loser material. 
Even though it's two years old, there's a ton of stuff in there, including most of the background music from the live shows, not including the stuff I've added the past couple of years, I guess. Hey, Brad, it's this Loops. Um, you were on a call with an old lady on show number 400 who um, you were blanketing her house in microwaves and she wanted watermelon for dinner and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And she was fussing with her computer. She now, was I think hilarious. That call would have been really funny if you had just helped her fix her computer. Because I'm sure it's some like Windows problem that you know yeah. old people don't know how to work I should around do that or sometime. something. Like if you just derailed the whole call to help her th- figure out how to like re- turn it into like a three-hour show of me walking her through Windows menus and stuff. Maybe get her to give me the remote access code thingy so I can just log in and fix it for her, her router or something. That would have been. What like, if I get in trouble for that? To me. So anyway, bye. I mean, if I'm helping, then it's okay. You're listening to. The Snowplow Show Here at Frank Commission We've got up lots of customers Casting massive aggravation Roy is not a hobo He is your host He drinks for loco with his jelly and toast Let's go stand up Let the epics begin P.L.A. Cha cha cha. That was actually a pretty good rendition of the theme song. Good job on that. I think I'm going to stick that on the beginning of the show when I put it all together. I'm just going to cut that out. That's going to be one of my intros from now on. And I'm not even going to ask your permission. I'm just going to do it. That's what you get for not changing the, the words prank call nation to something else. You jerk. Hello, Brad. It's me, Tommy. <laughs> oh, hey. You little chicken. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how is your sex life? <laughs> oh, you know. Goodbye. Anyway, bye. Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad. Oh, I, Brad, I remember you were mentioning about that TV show, Cup Your Enthusiasm. Remember, remember you were saying what? that it was. It, it wasn't. Maybe like 10 years ago. Coming out in October. It actually is going to be coming out in October, and it's the 1st of October. You, you were wrong with that one. Oh, it's coming me. out on the first of October, and it's going to be a really, really good show. Right. You're going to absolutely Bye. love it. And another, another thing I might say: Could I request a song right. for the end of the show? Venga Boys Party Time. Yeah, Bye. yeah. I'm going to know what you just said there. I'll totally be able to look that up on YouTube. You can definitely expect that to happen at the end of the show. Hey, Brad, it's Tandem Stacker again, hey. otherwise known as Chaz. Yep. Wanted to congratulate you on all these shows you're doing, but Thank you've got you. a very limited gateway coming up here. For example, show 404, oh, which is man. just four shows away, what could I do? is going to be show not found. And, oh, of course... Okay, I'm writing that down right now, putting it in my notebook. There, done, written and, down. And, of course... The show number four two zero, uh, which you know what four twenty what, is, what's that mean? because of all that uh, marijuana smoking you do. Yep, uh, you know me. So you might want to have some fun with these numbers while you still have them, since you give numbers to shows now. It's Anyways, true. keep up the great work, and uh, always look forward to uh, seeing your stuff. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that'd be fun to do a just a weird stoner show on four twenty, or just a, like a bunch of uh, you know, I left my weed pipe. In your stock room, pranks. Make that the 420 show. And I like the idea of show 404 being called Show Not Found. I mean, I, I guess I'll definitely do that since I wrote it down. But what would be the theme for 404? It's going to happen next week. We better find out a good theme for it. Maybe call up people and get them to go to websites that don't exist. And they'll be like, it says 404. And I can be like, you just got butt slammed. An entire show of that. That's what's going to happen. It'll be so funny. What other numbers could we do for shows? Oh, maybe I should just start theming uh, shows after area codes. Like, this is show number 401, so do a bunch of calls to Rhode Island, because that's their area code. On the next show, make a bunch of prank calls to 402 in Nebraska, and that'll be interesting to nobody, because nobody gives a shit about area codes. What am I talking about? What a dumb idea. Hey, Brad. It's me, the former Mr. Potato Head. Hey. Somebody stole my name last I know. Uh, show. And the voice bullshit. Fell. I don't know if you noticed. I don't think he did. I think he just said... You don't have to change your name. He has to change his name. This is just like that whole Zax debacle that's happening right now. There's like a new Zax in the Mixler room. 
called Zax the TV bootlegger. That's not the same Zax we all know. He's an imposter. Everyone needs to throw things at him whenever he comes in the room. Oh, you called me again? But it wasn't me again. The first guy stole my name. Ah, see. But I don't care. I'm bad at noticing voices and stuff. I'm probably never going to be able to tell the difference. I can be fooled so easily on these voicemails. At first I got to thinking about it, like, it, I, I almost had, like, a Larry David moment. Uh, I almost freaked out. Like, oh, you stole my name! And then I realized that... What's with uh, all the Larry David in the voicemails don't today? don't care. We're all just here to have fun. If he wants to be Mr. J. Dead, then he can be Mr. J. Dead. Yeah. But that causes me a problem. Now I need a new name. Yeah, you know, you're just going to come up with a new name and he's going to steal that one. It's all just a big fucking game to this Mr. Tomato Head guy. And I was thinking, um... Or potato, whatever it is. I, I thought he was Mr. Tomato Head and you were Mr. Potato Head. So now there's like a third one? Bandit the Male Stripper. Like, hi, I'm Bandit the Male Stripper. Did you order a male stripper? Yeah, I like uh, that. And I can wear a Speedo and like a Zorro mask. Why not? And, um, or I could be like, like, Hanky Panky. That could be my name, and I could wear like a... These are the best I ideas my, ever. <laughs> my male stripper name, and I could wear like a, a, a bonnet and a diaper, and my yep. tagline could be, his diaper's full. There you go. You it's perfect. I hope you're enjoying those marijuanas. Know. I'll play with it, and, 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 and I'll get back to you. I'll, 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 do, I'll workshop a lot of ideas. Okay, I'll get back to you. I can't wait. I think I like the new Mr. Potato Head better. That probably was the new Mr. Potato Head. He probably called in to complain about himself just to start drama. Hey, Brad. It's Christian from Arizona again. Hey. Uh, last time I left a message was probably like a little over a year and a half ago. I got really busy with school and work. And oh, you've missed all the fun. the show and any other shows for that matter. I don't know why I just forgot. Yep. It's been going but, uh, great this past year and a half. No problems around here. I'm sure you missed me. I got a lot to catch up on for about a year. Yeah. And I uh, hope I didn't miss out too much. No. And I uh, just want to let you know, I've still been supporting through the actual website. I don't like Patreon, but if your PayPal thing was still set up, it should still go through. And uh, uh, shows have been awesome lately. Hope everything goes well. Uh, you know, there's so many people that like using the website support thing instead of Patreon. I mean, not a ton of people, but at least a dozen or so. That I'll probably just keep that up forever. I know I said I was going to take it down eventually, like maybe in a year or something, but I'll probably just keep it up forever. Except there's not an easy way to give you guys the video episodes and stuff like that. Because there's not different levels, really, like on the Patreon. Take care. Oh, it's over. Okay, sorry. <laughs> like ruined the end of your voicemail. It just goes on for like another minute, though, of silence. I think you forgot to hang up your phone, Christian. You're just like a recipient. Wow! <laughs> Yay, good job. You got a farce out of an elaborate ruse. Nice. Yep. Good job. You got a farce out of an elaborate ruse. Yay, nice. All right, bye. I'm going to repeat myself a good time. Fuck Corbin you. guy. Thanks for calling in. Hi, Brad Carter. Matt, the manager here. Hello. Um, I want to tell that one caller I had absolutely nothing to do with those bar- uh, yeah, burn dairy calls out there in New York. Nothing to do with them whatsoever. Oh, of course. Anyway. I can tell. So, I had an idea for your great next milestone episode, episode 404, oh, of wow. course. And I think you should Everyone's having put up this an idea. hour of just pure silence. Oh, there we go. I needed an idea for the show, and there it is. Episode show not found is just going to be silence. Oh, wait. No, I know. It's going to be like 40 minutes of silence, and then I'll do the voicemails. That's what I'll do. Call it episode not found. Yep. That's just my thought. What an original idea. Anyway, I wanted to play an area code game with you again. These are two more places I've uh-huh. lived, and mostly because I'm a hobo, and yep. I move a lot. It's kind of sad. But... Here are two more area codes for you to guess. Are you ready, Brad? Just so you know, you know, like earlier, uh, I mentioned 401 could be Rhode Island, but I called it Maryland first, and then I'm like, oh, wait, no, not Maryland. That's 410. I got it mixed up, but I'm going to edit that out so you guys don't know about it. Full disclosure, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect with these area codes. Are you ready? I'll start with the easy one and then give you the hard one. You know, I could just edit the show and pretend I know the area codes. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And don't tell me I didn't give, give you enough time. You have the damn pause button. Yep. Anyway, I should play a song in the background so you guys know that I'm not cheating. Except I could cheat at that too. First area know. code seven two seven. Florida. Can you get it? Yep. That's a wonderful little place. Yep. If you like to sweat, yep. I had a feeling you would get that one. Okay. All right. So All right. the next one, the one that is a little bit more difficult. I don't think you're going to get this. 
But you have made calls. If it's the one in the translation thingy, the transcription Google thing, then no, I'm not going to get this one. Very before. I know I better that Google much. it. Area code 563. Yeah, I have no idea. Did you get it? Nope. I have no idea. I really don't know if you got this one or not. That's I. Whatever. Anyway, have a great day. What? You're not going to tell me? It's okay. I just checked. It's Iowa. And it looks like the 563 area code was split off from 319 in 2001. So this area code's been around for 16 years, and I've never even heard of it. It's like a really tiny corner up there in Iowa. Weird. I bet you it's in my area code game, though, because I just pulled all those out of a database. So you stumped Brad the area code knowing person guy. Good job. Bradley Turbo and other rodent names you might go by. Have Hello. you ever tried calling people and just tell them directly, this is a prank call and I'm calling to call you an asshole. And if you don't like it, just hang up the phone. <laughs> just like an extremely literal direct version of I've a prank call. I've never tried that. That might be kind of cool. Keep or it up, man. Good maybe work. I have. I don't know. Here, let's see if I can make that happen right now. Oh. Hi, Mrs. Lancaster? Yes. Hey, uh, my name's Roy. I'm a prank phone caller. Okay. And I'm calling just to call you an asshole. Fine. Goodbye. Well, uh, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> okay. It seems to have worked. Good job on that idea. I only had to try three numbers to finally get someone to pick up. I'm glad she listened to me and, and you know, gave me a response at least. Hey, RBCP. It's Teen Wolf Jesus. I've hey. got a couple of things. I was listening to an old show last night. I like to get high and listen to these shows for my bed. That's illegal. And it was some show back from 2014 when you uh, called a brothel. And uh, anyway, one of your listeners... I remember the brothel. That was bizarre. The whole thing was just weird. ...asked you to do a to hack a drive through and uh, you said you wanted to do it. I know it's way back, but... So my father-in-law is a big ham radio guy. He's got these big fucking towers out in the yard. And like that exact ham radio, he's got two of them. Mm-hmm. And so I would love to send you out one so you can do that. That would be fucking Aww. amazing. That's, That's one of my nice of you. Two. Number two. Uh, uh, I'm just going to answer that, though. Um, no, thank you. Because uh, hacking into drive throughs is pretty illegal. And I've never done it myself. I've just been around people that have done it. And I've reaped the benefits of it by using their radios to play pranks. But this probably isn't the best time in my life to be fucking with the FCC, you know? Facebook mobs and those are sweet. And lately I've been dicking around on YouTube. And, like, you find uh, family video or whatever. You find something of people going to Disneyland. So, if you jump on there and you type crazy messages... Like, I'm breaking into your house while you're gone. Try that. You can incite uh, some pretty angry behavior, uh, especially in <laughs> the newer ones. And if you got, like, hoity-toity soccer moms, so we should totally fuck with people's YouTube yeah. channels and put ridiculous comments on family videos. Why not? And <laughs> uh, it's pretty fun. That's All actually right. a... Talk to you later. That's a good idea, because people aren't as on top of things where you, on YouTube as they would be on Facebook where they can just open up the app and start deleting comments and banning people. That's a good one. Yeah, let's do a YouTube mob on a future live show. Hey, Brad. It's Ryan from Kentucky again. Hey. It's been a little bit since my last call. Have you been leaving carding notes? We've gotten a few from your area code. But I was wondering, since you're playing old carding clips mm-hmm. from last year... Two years ago. Do me the... Do me a favor and play the uh, one where you called the the dealership about the Mercedes about siphoning gas out of it. Uh, that was fucking hilarious. If you could play that for me, it'd be awesome. All right. I don't know which one it Bye. is though. Cactus, cactus. Like I don't know where it would be. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the file name is. I'm not very organized over here. So I want to play this one that you're talking about, but I don't know where it is. I don't know where to find it. So it's all your fault. Ahoy. This oh. is high school graduate. Oh, hey. Uh, congratulations on the 400th I mean, show. I just finished listening to it, which also is why I'm calling. And if some guy... Are you calling to tell me that I should name the episode 404 episode not The Hall of Fame of voicemail callers? I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, motherfucker, I can call in every day and talk about how much I love Katie Terry. I make myself not do that. And just so you know, I'm going to see Katy Perry again in less than a month. Whoa. I got some VIP tickets. Not Stop for you, her. obviously, because fuck you. Aww. I'm a little bit pissed about this not being included. Damn it. All right. Happy 400. What's not included? Old fucker. Thanks, high school graduate. I appreciate you not calling into the voicemail and talking about Katy Perry a bunch, because that'd be weird. 
Hey Brad, uh, this is Fo calling in. Um, I'm the one who's responsible for turning your YouTube comment section into a, a circle jerk of everyone saying my nigger Roy uh, every you. time a video is uploaded. God damn it! So you're welcome for that. No problem. Um, I, I'm just calling in. It's really nice how I haven't banned you all, isn't it? To say I'm a nice guy. Um, I find it really funny. You know how when um, uh, oh fuck, what's his name? That guy. Carlito, um, when he always refers that to everything guy. as machines, like, oh man, my car machine, or like he calls in some dog yep. breeders and he's yep. like, and I get one of those. That's all Carlitos, by the way. Whenever I refer to something as a machine, I'm stealing from Carlito. That's his thing. He calls everything machine. And I get one of those puppy machines. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would calls up a restaurant. like, I want to order some chicken and rice machines. Die laughing when he does that. And I think I heard make that joke like one time. So you should totally do that on your next show. Yeah. Um, the Machine no, it's Show. Not, it's not what like number can that be for the Machine Show? Ripping. Rip, I mean, you are ripping his joke off, but I mean, you ripped off plenty of jokes. You've got yeah. like the Jim around. I'm sure he's fine with that. I'm, I just like to mention it because I don't want everyone to think that it's a funny thing that I do. I want everyone to know that's Carlito's thing. I've stolen quite a bit from Carlito. Like all the womanizing I do, I think that's mostly Carlito. I know I did a little bit of that before, but Carlito helped me bring it to a whole new Dang. level. You ripped off, like, the Bob Dabalina thing. And, yeah, I mean, I could probably list, like, ten things that you ripped off. So, yeah, just rip off one more <laughs> fuck thing. Fuck you. Um, I don't think Carlito will care. He doesn't even do prank calls no, anymore. He doesn't so, yeah, care. Just fucking start calling everything machine. Yeah, Carlito, you yeah. never do prank calls anymore. Really funny. Okay, bye, Roy. Hello, Mr. Bradley Carter. Hello. This is the Walmart corporate office in Bentonville, Arkansas. Yep, I bet it we is. We have received several complaints from multiple I can of tell how real you are. That you have been sending some quite uh, explicit material to our one-hour photo labs without making any payment. Yep. Walmart corporate is now filing a lawsuit against you for the unpaid prints. If you fail to meet us in court, we will issue a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> just kidding. This is crazy Calvin, and you just got butt slammed. Oh, Woo! Shit. He got me there. I didn't see that coming. Damn you, crazy Calvin. Hey, Brad. It's Paul. Hey, Paul. Uh, first of all, don't make fun of my call quality because I can't really handle that right now. Yeah, it sounds um, awful. Oh, my God. You need to keep track of Barely hear you. swears that people swear at you when mm -hmm. you're doing prank calls and... Uh, re publish a report at the end of the year. Make some charts. And so we can see which ones to use most. <laughs> That's a good idea. Because there are some that are very unique. That'd be fun. And also, or like the weird things that people say, like that guy saying this is a farce call. And I can't think of any other examples right now, but there's lots of stuff like that where people just say the weirdest things, like I'm going to come down there and punch your head off. What the hell is that? Who says that? Do you have any call carding calls left? Do you need to... Um, Tell them that you accidentally wrote dinged, but you meant to write singed, because the S and the D are very close to one another, ah, yeah. so you just made Dyslexic. a little typo with your hand. Yeah, a typo so, uh, with my hand, that's great. Make up a story about singeing their car. All right, cactus, cactus, bye. Okay, singeing their car. I remember someone else was wanting me to say that I pinged their car, like I was hacking it with my computer. Hi there, Brad. It's Gordon. I haven't called in for a while. Okay. Uh, but I know you don't care about the reasons for that. So Not I'm really. With the details. Okay. Uh, a few issues to deal with here. Uh, okay. Firstly, thank you for playing prank calls once again. The You're other month. Welcome. It's probably a while ago. And uh, you probably forgot about it. And also, thank you for being so stupid that you played them again on the subsequent show. Because obviously, it meant I got twice the exposure I wanted. Uh, the problem is, um, you said during that call that I was a one-off case and you wouldn't uh, play any other voicemails from anybody else uh, that contained prank calls. Uh, it's just because I was being so naggy. Uh, and then you s continue to play other calls. So I just Honestly, I've, I've already forgotten whatever you're talking about. I'm sorry. Stop with that. Uh, second issue is... Um, I have a really bad memory. I was recently listening to a show. It was one of the ones from last week. Uh, and you did that stupid sarcastic, vo uh, sarcastic laugh, which, by the way, you need to carry on doing at least <laughs> once. The show from now on. I'll on try. Detail, because that's fucking hilarious. Um, basically, I was listening to it whilst driving and I lost control of the car, uh, crashed into the pavement and killed a couple of families, that's leaving behind um, quite a few orphans. So, um, yeah, because it's because that was your fault, they probably um, you're now uh, the parent of a number of kids. Uh, so, congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. And finally, uh, I heard you recently complaining Holy about... Holy shit, this is a long voicemail. Uh, I don't know where that's coming from, because last week I went around on an expedition 
all around the south of England and I left about well, probably about 40 odd notes across cars throughout Berkshire, Surrey and Hampshire um, and I put the US time code in so um, that's weird because I, I have not gotten I don't think I've gotten a single call from the UK I got one from Australia I think that's the only foreign one we got this year and I sent it to XYZ today but he said he can't call internationally but I know Carlito can he usually does shows on the weekends even though some people say he doesn't so maybe he'll give that one a call this weekend do you enjoy uh, at least some of those that will come back uh, okay, cheers, Brad. But this call, this, uh, yeah, this message was just left last night. Wait, no, this morning. So maybe the calls just aren't coming in yet. I'm sure they will soon. Hello. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. It's Threat TV, Tyler, whatever, you know. Hey, Threat um, TV. Somebody mentioned, I think, on episode 400 in the voicemails that uh, some complicated explanation for your voicemail yeah sounded like witchcraft or voodoo or something whatever it was um pretty sure they were on drugs i mean to all the listeners who call in why not just press one yeah i'm sure you can do stupid but just press one you big stupid gets you to the voicemail quicker and you can stop bitching that way um right i thought i would leave that advice to all the listeners uh to help stuff Thanks. All right, thank you, love you, bye. Tourette TV. And hey, look, that's the last voicemail. Holy shit, I did a really long voicemail segment. I didn't think it was that long. What the hell happened? <laughs> I know someone's going to bitch about that. Like, eh, Brad, you only did 25 minutes of prank calls and like 85 minutes of voicemails. I'm never going to listen to your free show again. Anyway, I'm done doing all this show stuff. I quit. Uh, thank you, Philip B., for sponsoring the show today. And thank you, previous supporters of the Snowplow Show. And some of them are still supporters, such as Greg T., Jeffrey C., Kuraz, Steve B., Stan Trucker, Worsty, King Eckbert, Matt Z., Rhapsody Man 2000, Rob Zombie Stark, Bobo Bob, the Hobo Bob, High School Graduate, Andy, Jamie F., Default C., Robert S., Jason B., Metal, Dayman, Cody, CNC Wizard, Sean L., Miguel F., FOD87, My First Broom, James. James S4, Ty A, Buster C, Honey Baby, Julian J, Todd L, I'm almost done, I swear, Luda, X Factor, Pat D, Xander Fett, and Elky. Those were all of the supporters from December of 2016, and I guess I didn't get to their names during that month as sponsors of the show. I'm going to put it into this gigantic growing list once and for all, you guys. But thanks, everyone, for supporting the show over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers, or if you really want to still do it over there, you know, PhoneLosers.com slash Cactus. I suppose, Mark, if you have to. You go ahead and hang up, my friend, and we can be done with this. No, you hang up, and we'll be done with this. Fine, if he's not going to hang up, I'm not going to hang up. I don't have to hang up. I'm going to make another call to another person without hanging up. We're going to make a three-way call. Hello. Hang up the phone. Well, why did you fucking call me? It's none of your business. Just hang up the fucking phone. I'm not hanging my phone up either. He called and did the same shit with me. Better hang it up. I command you to hang up the phone. I command you both to hang up the phone. What? What are you gonna do to me? Nothing. Just hang it up. No, I you are. Maybe I'll drive up to the cop and beat your ass. No, you won't. You, you can't beat anyone. Yeah. Else. Just hang up the phone. You go ahead and hang up, asshole. No, you hang up. I'm not hanging up the phone. You better hang up the phone. Not you, ma'am. I, I need to talk to you about the raccoons. The other guy needs to hang up the phone. Gosh, are we losing? I'm, I'm still here. You better hang up the phone. Both of you hang up. The other lady hung up. She knows what's good for her. No, hell, I didn't. I know you didn't. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you chime in. You should pick the wrong bitch on the wrong day, buddy. I'm telling you. Well, you need to hang up the phone. No, you hang it up. You called up. You called up, and we're not hanging the phone up. Hey, hang up your phone. Who is this? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. You motherfucker call me. I don't care. You hang up the phone. Don't play these fucking games. I got time for your fucking little punk ass fucking games. You, you better just hang up. Just just shut your mouth and hang up the phone. Oh, I, I better. I better. Okay, I'm staying right on the fucking phone. Now show me what I better fucking do. Just hang up the phone. Shut the fuck up, dude. You're afraid to hang up. And why would I be afraid to hang up? I don't know why you're afraid. Oh, he hung up the phone. Phone.